Ken is very energetic. Dr. Davis is a true visionary. Passionate. Strong. He understands that we all have to work together to deal with autism and other psychiatric disorders. There was virtually no research going on anywhere. The whole world was making very little progress. The trustees who wanted to create this center went around to many institutions to try and find institutions that were interested in studying autism. Well, one day, to my surprise, I got a call from the then CEO, Jack Rowe, and he said that we may have a large gift to start a center in autism. So Ken Davis had a vision that the best way to improve care for anybody in any disorder was to put all the experts together in the same room, to have your basic scientists, your clinician, your clinician scientists, and everybody in between think jointly about the problem and how to move to better and better treatments. Today, the Cyber Autism Center can actually think about drug discovery and development in autism. That really, I think, is the most exciting thing we're seeing right now. I think we're getting a lot of interest from the family foundations, a lot of interest from the patients themselves, and a lot of interest from industry because they actually realize that the Cyber Center has the resources that they would need for drug discovery and development. The Cyber Autism Center is very committed to working with uh, biotech and pharma partners. We are well poised to bring both the strength of our basic science research and the knowledge of patients' needs and clinical assessments, biomarker assessments, uh, and other endpoints into the picture. And this is exactly what biotech and pharma partners need and we really kind of put our heads together to try to figure out how the preclinical work, the animal model work, can really inform the clinical work and how what we learn in the clinic can help them design better experiments on the preclinical side. Dr. Davis, he really sort of set the path for us to follow this genetics first approach. I don't know of another autism effort in the country that is better able to integrate across these different levels of expertise. Translational psychiatry is the only way we're going to have new treatments for autism in the coming decades. In the future, I think the Sever Autism Center will take this a step further and bring new medicines to patients with autism and close the circle of translation. I think one of the really important ways that we help families is by providing them with a real hope. The sky is the limit for the future of the Seaver Center. We have plans to continue to build the center, to add faculty, add expertise, so that we could take care of more children and adults with autism spectrum disorder, and develop new treatments for those individuals. I want to thank Ken Davis for creating the Seaver Center, for building the Seaver Center, and for entrusting me in its continuation. I would like to thank Dr. Davis for having the vision and the appreciation for the huge unmet medical need that autism is. To Dr. Davis, I would say thank you for inspiring me to pursue research, and thank you for introducing me to the Super Center. Dr. Davis, thank you so much for your spectacular leadership. Our excellence in research and clinical care and education is only possible because of the seeds that you planted and the advances that you've made possible here at Mount Sinai.